Hello everyone, this is Pompey Morandante again and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I will be talking about solving quadratic equations. Okay, so here we go. Let's have a review first that a quadratic equation is in a standard form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. So let's have here an example, okay? So I have here x squared minus 3x is equal to x minus 7. So here, we still have to simplify and make it in standard form, okay? So look at that. We are going to transpose x minus 7 on the other side, so we are going to change all the signs. And now the new equation becomes x squared minus 3x minus x plus 7 is equal to 0. So there you go. And then, after which, you are going to simplify negative 3x and minus x. There are similar signs. Okay? Similar signs, we're going to add. Okay, so negative 4x plus 7 is equal to 0. So there you go. That is now our quadratic equation in standard form. Okay? Where our coefficients, numerical coefficients, where a is equal to 1. Okay? And then B is equal to negative 4, where C is also considered as the constant, okay? So correct me for that. So that's constant there, which is 7. So the new equation now, I mean, the, the equation now in standard form is x squared minus 4x plus 7 is equal to 0, okay? So that is the equation in standard form. Now, so you already know about, um, so I give you already the idea about what is quadratic equation in standard form now our task is how to solve quadratic equation so first example here look at this this example is 5x squared minus 20x is equal to zero what do you think is missing here so i'm writing here it's incomplete quadratic equation this is quadratic equation because the highest exponent here is two the only thing is c is missing where in the c is the constant is missing here so how do we solve this quadratic equation so very simple we are just going to apply um, factoring here okay by factoring finding out the greatest common factor common factor in each of the term term here okay the gcf first look at the uh, numerical coefficient the numerical coefficients here, we have 5 and 20. What do you think is the greatest common factor? So 5 and 20, of course, mentally, you can work it out. 5 is common because 5 is also common to 20, which is 4 times 5. Sa? And then which we have here the variables, which is x squared and x. The common is x. So there you go. You have x. 5x squared divided by 5x. You have x and then 20x. Negative 20x divided by 5x will, beca will become 4. So there you go. Negative 4 rather. And then we split now the equation into two. The first one is equate to 0. 5x is equal to 0. And the other one is x minus 4 is equal to 0. Then solve for x. First, divide both sides by 5 to solve for x. There you go. 0 divided by 5 is equal to 0. And the other one, x transpose 4 on the other side. That becomes positive 4 so there you go guys there are two possible values of there are two solutions rather we have x of 1 and x of 2 0 and 4 and we call this one as the solutions of the equation okay so that's it guys for example number one okay so up next will be example number two we have here 2x squared minus 32 is equal to 0 Okay, so this equation is still incomplete. Why do you think it's incomplete? Because what is missing here? It's incomplete because B is missing. Okay, so the coefficient, I mean the term B here is missing. So how do we solve this equation? So it's simple, huh? There are so many ways to do that, but let's just have this one. First, we are going to write 2x squared and we can transform the constant on the other side, okay? So look at this, I'm sorry, 
2 x squared I'm just going to change the color minus I mean is equal to 32 changing negative to positive dividing both sides by 2 and then there you go through cancellation we can cancel 2 now I'm just changing the color into red and then 32 divided by 2 that will become what do you think the factors of 32 16 and 2 where we can cancel 2 here okay so there you go that becomes x squared x is equal to 16 and then we are going to get the square root on both sides and we are going to cancel this 2 here and at the same time we have to remember that when we say square root there are always two possible answers okay so you have there it's plus and minus so plus minus the root of 16 is equal to 4 okay or there are two possible values here like what i said you have the plus the positive 4 and the negative 4 okay let me just rewrite negative 4 so there you go guys the solutions of this equation is 4 and negative 4 so that's it for number 2 wait huh? there's there is more let's have another example okay example number three this is another type of um let's say another type of quadratic equation so you have here x squared minus x minus 20 is equal to zero this is a complete quadratic equation here we have to check c okay the constant if uh, find the factors i mean check the factors if their factors um, it's possible to get a difference here which is 1 in B look at that so okay as the as the difference so in that case you are going to think of the factors of 20 so 20 we have 1 and 20 2 and 10 4 and 5 but of course you have to think directly what do you think are the factors to get minus 1 as the difference of 20 using 20 negative 20 so since it's minus or negative we are going to use here plus and minus okay and then what do you think are the factors of 20 to get minus 1 of course let me list down again the factors so that you will think about it so you have 4 and 5 okay actually there are other numbers but we are going to stick on this number right away because we also have 2 and 10 but it's not possible for us to have minus 1 here we also have 1 and 20 1 times 20 these are factors okay but among this pair of factors we have here 4 and 5 where we can get the difference of negative 1 okay so the thing is where we can place 4 and where we can place 5 so of course we are going to put 5 here to minus because it's negative 1 remember when you get when you subtract you are going to copy the sign of the greater number that's why you have here nine, minus 5 okay so x minus x plus 4 equal to, is equal to 0 and then x minus 5 is equal to 0 so there you go transpose 4 on the other side that becomes negative and the other value is positive so these are the two solutions of the equation of the given equation minus 4 or negative 4 and 5 okay guys that's for example number three let's have another example okay and that's it guys thank you so much for watching see you again on my next vlog bye